The inspiration behind this book, this story, really was a tribute that I wanted to make to my own grandmother and my great-grandmother and the women in the community that I grew up with. What makes it so personal that everyone feels nobody can make a sweet potato pie like my mama or my grandmama or whoever that endearing person is, is when you show up someplace and they're requesting that person's pie. That was my grandmother. <laughs> One day I woke up and decided I wanted to make a sweet potato pie. I don't even like to cook. And I called my grandmother and asked her for the recipe. And she said, a recipe? Honey, I don't have a recipe. I mean, what do you have? mean you don't have a recipe? She says, it's in my head. I said, okay, can you just tell me what it is? So I'm writing down the ingredients that she's talking. And I guess I didn't get it out of her head too well because those pies were horrible. And yet, I still felt compelled to work at it, and I did. I consider the sweet potato pie as being the sacred dessert of black culture, because no matter what was going on, that pie was always going to be on the table some sort of way. Whenever there was someone who was ill, or if there was a wedding, or a new baby born, or a funeral, they would make sure that the sweet potato pie was right there. In today's environment, so much of this, this natural caring and this community caring, some of that is missing. And I just believe that this story can help bridge some of that. <laughs>